good evening friends welcome back to my channel so in the previous video part one of butterfly strategy we learned to create a butterfly using a combination of credit and a debit spread we also learned how a long butterfly is created by using one call by two call cell and one call by legs similarly a put butterfly is created using puts so this is a typical butterfly that we learned we also discussed that we deploy butterfly with a view depending on the price action on chart we will trade a butterfly so in case our view is sideways we will create a butterfly with a sideways view where we will select add the money sell legs and in case our view is uh, bullish we will we'll create a butterfly a bullish butterfly with the out of the money sell legs also we discussed that we keep both the wings at an equal distance from the sell legs now let's try to understand how to do adjustments in a butterfly let's jump on to our favorite tool obstra and uh, i'll just open the obstra this is obstra and i'll open the option stimulator we will be doing a simulation of butterfly and uh, our view is sideways to bullish we'll create a butterfly we will select an expiry of 27th october 27th october just just a week before that we'll deploy it deploy it at 315 the market is at 17500 we we are bullish we are sideways to bullish on the market so what we want we want a range of 17500 to 17900 so this is the range that we want so what we'll do we'll buy one lot of 17500 we'll sell two lots of 17700 and we'll buy one lot of 17900 Today we want a bigger range plus our view will bullish. So we have sold 17,700. Always remember in the butterfly, wherever your sell leg is, that is the area where you will get maximum profit. Always select that area where you where you think the market will expire and create a sell leg there. Okay. So now we have created it. We have kept a bigger range for weekly. It totally depends on us what kind of range we want. For monthly, we can have a bigger range. For weekly we can have a smaller range and we can keep our target accordingly let's do a simulation on this week and see whether our view is right or wrong okay now let's do one thing let's move ahead let's let's uh, go to the next day next day market went up we are in a profit of 490 we are going to do adjustment once the market crosses the the sell leg towards the upside okay Market has to cross this leg, then we'll do the adjustment. It's a very simple adjustment, similar to iron fly. Let's move ahead. Nothing much happened. It's uh, 3.30. Nothing happened. Let's go to the next day. Next day market capped up. And now we have crossed the sell leg. So now what we have to do, we have to do a very simple adjustment we have to shift our buy legs inside from both the sides depending on the range we have selected we can do the shifting so now what we'll do we will shift our buy legs inside how, how are you going to shift shifting is very simple it is similar to iron fly what we'll do we'll shift 17500 inside we'll bring it to 17550 similarly we'll bring 17900 to 17850 we'll we'll shift both the legs inside from both the sides so what will happen this wing will come a little up okay this wing will come up and our loss will reduce let's let's do it let's see what we'll do we'll book the first leg it is in profit of 4900 we'll book it 60.3 45 we'll book the second buy leg at 17.9 chin chin we will buy 17 550 and 17 850 let's see how does it look now our max loss has reduced to 667.5 now let's go ahead we have to do adjustments whenever market comes to the center point okay where our cell legs are and once our a butterfly becomes free then we don't have to touch it yeah so now it has come back to the center point again we'll see if we can do some adjustment let's on 81.3 modify 20.95 hit option chain again we'll be shifting we'll be shifting inside from both the sides 17550 will shift to 17600 17850 will shift to 17800 
we are reducing our range but we are locking our profit so now you can see we are loss free on both the sides at the center we are going to get maximum profit of 5395 now we don't have to worry right now let's go directly to the this is the expiry day yeah, so at uh, 315 on the expiry day we are going to make a profit of 4125 so we we made roughly 10% the margin that was that we used was around 40,000 and we were completely loss free. So now let's understand adjustment number two. So this adjustment also we are going to do when our view is right but market has crossed our break even. So what we have to do when the trade crosses the second buy leg or break even create another butterfly of same range. Any strike from the first butterfly should not overlap the second butterfly. It's two simple rules and uh, i'll show you it on the whiteboard let's have a look so for example this is our butterfly this is buy one buy, uh, this is the first buy leg this is the sell leg again this is the buy leg and right now market is somewhere here when when we have taken the trade market is here on thursday when we have taken the trade and our viewers are market is going to be bullish so and we are expecting market to close somewhere here example this is 17700 and what happens the next day next day market moves to this position at the end of the day market closes somewhere here 17650 for example we are not doing anything then what happens this is on the friday right on Monday, what happens? Market crosses your break even. This is the break even. Market crosses it and opens somewhere here. It opens at around 17,950. Okay. Now, what we have done? We have done 17,700 is our sell leg. Okay, I will just write down the buy leg also. 17,500 is our buy leg and this side 17,900 is our another buy leg all buy leg right market has reached 17,950 so what we have to do here yeah so what we have to do we have to create another butterfly here we have to sell 17,950 okay two lots then we have to accordingly whatever range we have selected here 17,700 sell leg, 17,900 second buy leg, and 17,500 first buy leg. So, similarly, 200 points gap we have to keep for the second butterfly as well. So, 17,950, then when here we will buy 17,750, and this side we will buy 18,150. So, our, uh, our at the end what will happen our butterfly will look like this i'll show you how the butterfly will look this is how the butterfly will look what will happen the range your range will increase and our downside also you have a big range let's do one thing let's understand the same on the option simulation we will select uh yeah uh already selected the payoff uh, date expiry date 3rd november 27th october is a uh, date i have selected for uh, uh, the uh, as a start date at uh, 315 we will deploy the strategy what is the uh, spot price spot price 17700 so we will buy 17700 one lot 17900 we will sell two lots and 18,100 again we will buy one lot so this is a perfect butterfly right max profit 7700 max loss 2223 and we are here right now so we got a good range 17,745 and 18,055 let's go to the next day
we are not doing the previous adjustment right now otherwise you will get confused so we are directly doing the second adjustment right now so now yeah so now we are we have crossed the break even so as per the rule our our break even has already crossed on the upside and now we are going to do the adjustment we are going to create another butterfly on this side so first let's check what is our what are the legs that we have already traded 17700 17900 and 18100 so now the leg that we are going to take is should be it should be either 18150 or 18200 we cannot take 18100 because it will overlap with the the previous leg as i told you in the rule the second rule any strike from the first butterfly should not overlap the second butterfly so we are not going to overlap anything we are directly going to create a butterfly little one strike away from the uh, the strike that is overlapping so one strike away is just 18150 18150 we will sell two lots as a sell leg 18150 will sell two lots then 17950 200 points away from 18150 one lot and 18000 350 one lot now see how the butterfly look like so yeah this is how the butterfly will look like now we can see there is a increase in the range but uh, also there is an increase in the maximum loss that can happen to us so when we are quite confident that market is going to stay in this range then only we can we should add the additional butterfly okay so this way we should only add three butterflies in case uh, in case tomorrow market goes up if it crosses the break even again once again then we can create another but butterfly here which will look like this i'll show you on the whiteboard how it will look this is the first original butterfly that we made then this is the adjustment butterfly one time this is the adjustment butterfly second time so this is how it will look this is going to be the max profit which is going to be the max loss remember one thing the max loss is going to increase when you make the third butterfly max loss this this range is going to increase this range right now we are when we are making this butterfly, we are somewhere here we have crossed the break even of the this second butterfly okay so we have made the third butterfly here we we have to remember one thing we have we don't have to make additional butterflies we we cannot make a fourth butterfly so it's better to avoid that so let's go to the powerpoint once again maximum two additional butterfly and we can do some selling on the opposite side to reduce the loss okay okay uh, one more thing we can do we can we can do some selling this is the break even we can sell some puts to reduce the max loss that's it that is that is what we can do remember very important thing that already market has crossed our break even two times okay once it has crossed here and second time it has crossed here so we don't have to fight with the market right remember that we are trading a limited loss strategy and keep in mind that this loss can happen anytime by doing lots of adjustments sometimes it may happen that we we end up giving lots of money it's better to, to either exit or to limit ourselves to a max loss that so maximum two butterflies we are going to make and also make use of the strategy builder whenever we are making strategies and adjusting them we have to use the strategy builder whichever we can use there are many in the market it depends on us whichever we are comfortable with we can use now let's get back to the, the simulation now let's see what happens the next day We'll directly jump to the expiry yeah, we close with a small profit of 1722 rupees so this is how we were able to save our trade this were the two adjustments that we learned today that's it for the part two
now we are going to learn some additional things in the part three and uh, if you like the video kindly hit the like button if you have not subscribed the channel kindly subscribe the channel as well because i'm going to post such uh, educational content for you